minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engine full power, and lift off to Falcon 9, go to the tilt at 10B, go to 1049. Vehicle's catching down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station carrying the UTELSAT 10B satellite. Power and telemetry. Now during ascent, the M1D engines will actually swivel and help steer Falcon 9. This is known as gimbal. The rocket autonomously tilts the engines just a few degrees and this gimballing allows the vehicle to Falcon perform... supersonic. ...allows the vehicle to perform a gravity turn, which is when we go vertical as well as horizontal. Now we're still going up, but we are also heading horizontally Max away Q. from the launch pad. And we have just heard that we've passed through Max Q. That is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent. Now we will throttle those M1D engines back up on the first stage. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> Stage one FTS is safe. <laughs> Great news, we did have Miko stage separation, and there you can see on your screen that MVAC engine has ignited. Now, as a reminder, we are not attempting to land our first stage today as our mission requires more performance, so it will use up the fuel typically used for landing. Now, coming up next will be fairing separation in a few seconds here. Great live view there of the fairing halves separating from the stage fairing two separation. vehicle. Oh, Inquisition of signal, Bermuda. And back shut down. Halo deploy confirmed. An incredible view. You are watching the UTELSAT 10B satellite drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage.